The Lord is truly, truly risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To him be glory and power. Alleluia. Alleluia. For all the ages and of eternity. Alleluia. Alleluia. And we're gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. So, happy Easter. Happy Easter. So, uh, we're celebrating Easter here for uh, Carondelet Centre. And uh, so, the, um, uh, even in these strange times, we can still celebrate the Mass together. And so, let us just place ourselves before the Lord now. Ask Him to be with us and to listen to all the prayers we have in our hearts today. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to goodwill. We praise bless you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify, you. We, glorify you. you. we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, O Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, <clears throat> who on this day through your only begotten Son has conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of Christ. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so let us listen now to the word of the Lord. A reading according to the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Joseph, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the responsorial psalm. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the, the day, day the, the Lord, Lord has made. made. Let, Let us, us rejoice and be glad. glad. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, 
His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is truly risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, can I have the gospel? And the Lord be with you. And also with you. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark. And saw the stone removed from the tomb. She ran away and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them that they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scriptures that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so, you know why Jesus um, uh, appeared to women first? Because he wanted the message to get out quickly. <laughs> so, uh, John, in his Gospel, he sets the scene. Uh, it's in a garden, <coughs> and it's the first day of the week. And so, clearly what he's alluding to is back to Genesis. Uh, so even the way John opens his gospel, in the beginning, which is exactly the same words that opens the gospel, the, uh, the book of Genesis, in the beginning. And then after those words, then God creates the world. And so what John is uh, alluding to is that this is the first day of the week. The Lord has rested, and now this is a new week of creation. This is the first day of creation. And so anyone who's a good mathematician now, you'll be able to work out that when the Lord finished uh, creating on the sixth day and rested, and then the beginning of the next uh, day is uh, at the resurrection. So some clever mathematician might be work, work out how long a day for the God is in terms of human, uh, the human uh, time. And so, so what John is trying to show is that Jesus 
is a new creation. God has created him uh, anew. And so the resurrection is the beginning of new creation, a week of new creation. And what he's trying to say is that this is, Christ is the first, the first in this creation. And all of us, all of us will be recreated anew. So God will continue his creation and all of us will be created uh, anew. And so in, in Ireland uh, we have a story of uh, three caterpillars who used to uh, chomp away on this uh, cabbage stalk. And in the evening uh, they used to go to this place because uh, it's thirsty work eating all that cabbage. And so they used to um, uh, get some relaxing fluid and they discussed important things. Who's going to win the football final? Things like that. But this one night they started talking about what happens to the guys who disappear? And so the, um, so they said the, that what they do is if one of them disappeared, they come back and tell the others. And of course one day one of them goes up into the cocoon and emerges as a butterfly. And as he's uh, flapping his wings and drying them in the sun, he uh, remembers the pledge he made to the other two guys and comes back and he tries to attract their attention. But he's changed so much that they don't recognise him. He's the same person but different mode of being. And that's what um, the resurrection stories are at pains to point out. That it's the same Jesus, but he's been transformed in the resurrection. He's been transformed. And that's why they don't recognize him at first. And so the, um, and all of us will experience that transformation. We'll all become a new creation. We'll be butterflies in the kingdom. And uh, so, the, um, so that's what uh, is going to happen with us. The, um, at the end of the gospel, John has another story where Peter is out fishing with a couple of boys in the boat and they're fishing all night and catch nothing and so a stranger comes on the shore and says put out over there and you'll catch some and they get an enormous haul of fish and they're pulling them in and somebody says to Peter it's the Lord so Peter didn't recognize Jesus and he jumps into the boat and uh, so the um, but, and the, the story is that uh, the Lord forgives him three times. He denied Jesus three times, the Lord forgives him three times. The, um, and, so, and he's commissioned the, uh, in the church three times. And so that wasn't lost on the, the, the early church. That was very important for the early church. And so, um, so Peter didn't recognise Jesus. And so... We too often don't recognise the face of Jesus. And so one of the things we always have to be doing is looking out for the face of Jesus in the people around us. It could be the man waiting at the bus stop or the senior uh, carrying her shopping bags across the road. So we always have to be looking out to see the face of Jesus. And the, uh, when he says something to us, we will recognise him too. So let us uh, pray now. <clears throat> Lord, in these strange times we ask you to be by our side as we journey through this pandemic. Be our strength and our rock. Lord, we pray for all the medical staff at the Crondelet Center. Bless them in their ministry and reward them for all their kindness, skill, and dedication in looking after the sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the other staff in the Crondelet Center who make living here enjoyable and stimulating. They care for all the sisters with such tenderness and love. Please bless them and reward them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for all the sisters who are not doing well at this time, especially Sister Barbara Joseph. May the Lord bring them healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the sisters on hospice. We pray that they may be comfortable. We also pray for the hospice staff whose gentle hands calm and assure the sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. We pray for the residents of the Carondelet Center. We pray that they may all remain safe, healthy, and well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have recently gone to the Lord. Sister Robert Joseph, Sister Mary Frances, Sister Maureen Patron. Let us all say together, Eternal the rest, rest grant unto them, to them, O Lord, Lord and may your perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. peace. Amen. Amen. And let us make our own special prayer now at this time. And let us ask our Blessed Mother to bring all our prayers and concerns that lie in our hearts to her Son as we say, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed Beside art thou amongst women, women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands of made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all his holy church. <clears throat> and let us pray. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. with you and also with you and let us lift up our hearts we lift them up to the lord and let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right to give them thanks and praise it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you our lord that on this day above all to lord you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, welcome the paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, to be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you, hell is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come that we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, your servants, all the SCJs and all the uh, Sacred Heart, whom you have called to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us yes, this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we so forgive we those, those who trespass against us. And lead and us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety to wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us peace and unity in your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread. Alleluia. 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 And let us pray. <clears throat> Look upon your church, O Lord, with unfailing love and favour. 
so that, renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the Resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So there was a man, he said to his wife, he says, um, Easter's coming up. Uh, the, um, he said, would you like a trip to Paris or a fur, fur coat to celebrate uh, Easter? And she thought for a few moments and said, fur coats are cheaper in Paris. <laughs> So, uh, so it's good to uh, celebrate with you and hope you're all keeping very well and safe and, um, and so uh, Easter, let us ask the Lord to bless us with all the Easter blessings and the Lord be with you and also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Father.